Hi, it's Nasreen here. I've been a cycle commuter for almost 10 years. I've picked up some great tips along the way for packing, what you need to take with you, things to consider. So I just thought I would share those with you. Um, if you're thinking about cycle commuting, do it. I've enjoyed it so much. It's um, great to get the fresh air before work, clear your head, all those good things. Um, so without further ado, here is my commute pack. This is the Osprey Escapist 25. This is the latest in a long line of uh, commuter bags that I've tried. Um, and this by far has been kind of the best one for just organizing my stuff, guys. Um, so Osprey kind of specialize in these sort of packs for specific purposes like trails or walking or cycling or whatever. You know and this one has all the compartments you're going to need um it's also got this cute little lid lock thing so you can kind of use that to attach your helmet when you go into the office so it's not like kind of a, a problem um and uh yeah so um i'll take you on a quick tour of this because it's got some really amazing features so first of all most important thing for me and my job is my laptop i keep that just in this back pocket here. It's um, got a little bit of padding in there, but it's not uh, one of those bulky ones that's gonna weigh almost the same as your laptop, which is great. Um, but also you'll see there's these like kind of foam pads and a layer of mesh over the top. And the reason for that is so that you don't have this big bulky bag right against your back. You've got some air pockets here. You've also got the mesh just to allow air to flow so you're not, arriving at work feeling all icky and sweaty and stuff. The pockets here, because these are pretty good now. Um, I'll normally have my pass, so I can just get through the gates without fussing for work. And then in this secure pocket, I'll normally keep my keys as well, uh, just so um, I can lock my bike up easily and get into my locker when I get into work. Um, there's another quick grab pocket, which is super important. Uh, keep my phone in there. I'll show you, first of all, the absolute essentials. Now, for me, um, I've had some real kind of mechanicals on the way to work and it's no fun to be stood at the roadside, um, you know, in the rain, in the cold, whatever, getting colder and colder. So make sure you've got enough um, kit to look after yourself and make sure you know how to fix a minor mechanical issue so um, you know get someone to show you how to fix a puncture um, and make sure you have enough kit to deal with a puncture so I've got my tube there really important I don't generally fix tubes at the roadside because it's a bit of a faff um, I'll generally fix them when I get home but I do take a puncture repair kit just in case I'm unlucky enough to get two punctures in one day which has happened a pump that's super important get your tire back inflated I've also got a little uh, set of tire levers there so I've also got my multi-tool. Now, that's really good just to get you out of minor scrapes. Um, I am by no means great at mechanics and I don't really fix my bike up. But if something comes loose, it uh, it doesn't take the most mechanically gifted person just to tighten it up with one of the Allen keys. You've got screwdrivers on there. I even use it in the office if there's like just a minor thing that someone's looking for a tool for. I'm always like the useful girl that has a tool there. Um, another thing that I always keep that I think is really essential is just a set of backup safety lights. These are really little lights and you see they just quite easily pop on, on and off um, your bike and you'll see they've got this USB kind of charging point so you can keep those topped up in your backpack and snap them on and off really easily on your bike. Um, these aren't the main lights that I use in the winter. I, I have a lot more powerful lights on my bike, but this is if you lose a light, if the battery dies, you have some sort of technical issue, 
Um, always good to have a backup um, so you're not riding home in the dark with absolutely nothing. That's what I will never leave the house without. One more essential to tell you about is this is a really cool pocket because it's super like stretchy. You can get a lot of things in there. I tend to just leave this high-vis waterproof jacket in there all the time. Um, just so I'm not gonna get caught out in a storm. Um, and it's, it's super lightweight. And you'll see it's got like a massive reflective patch on the back. No one's gonna miss you in that. So like those days when you're not sure if it's gonna rain, um, always good to have something like that in your bag. So this is uh, kind of the main compartment. You'll see you've got plenty of room for everything you need in there. Really important guys, a lock. That might seem like overkill, um, but it really isn't. Um, so when you're buying a lock, look for the secure rating on it. Um, it might say um, that it has a security standard of sold secure, gold, silver or bronze and your insurer, if your bike is insured, might actually stipulate that you need a gold lock, so be mindful of that. Um, I carry a D lock plus a cable lock just so that um, I can make sure that both of my wheels and my frame are attached to something solid and we have Sheffield stands at work which are kind of bolted into the ground so make sure the thing you lock your bike to is actually anchored in somewhere. This is a game changer. Okay so this is my wash bag. Now if you're lucky enough to have facilities at work this is absolutely fantastic. You'll see it has a little hook so you can hang it up on the coat stands. I've got my makeup here also got a few little toiletries um i always kind of go for the smallest volumes that i can so i have these little bottles that i refill uh with my shampoo and shower gel um i've also got a little mirror in there hairbrush so it really has all your essentials and it hangs up which is an absolute win for me um this is something i've learned the hard way guys um I do normally take a drink and a packed lunch to work and I have had accidents where I haven't closed something properly or it's, you know, it's spilled. So now to safeguard that, I've got these bags, again from Osprey, they're waterproof and that's like my outfit for the day. So nothing's gonna, I'm not gonna be wandering around smelling of soup with that and then that's um, my towel. Now guys, this is a really, uh, really good tip. You can get these like microfiber towels, which is super lightweight. So if you're lucky enough to have a shower at work, you don't need to look around this massive like beach towel. Um, that fits nicely in your bag. There's one more compartment that I'm gonna show you. Now I'm not using this one right now because I do leave my shoes at my desk. And guys, if you can leave things at work, that is a top tip. Um, if, if you're not hot disking, you can, or you've got a locker, leave your shoes at work because it's not worth taking them. But there is this secure compartment again, um, just to keep, uh, keep your shoes away from all your other things, so your other things don't get dirty or anything. That makes this a really good bag for the gym actually as well, and I do sometimes take it to the gym on a weekend. And then the final party trick is inside here. Got this amazing rain cover. So it kind of sits nice and securely on the top of there. So if you're riding home and the heavens do open or it's just dark, um, maybe it's got a bit darker than you were expecting it, you've left work late. This not only waterproofs everything, all your prized possessions, your laptop, etc. But it makes you, again, nice and visible. So that goes nicely on there, no fuss. You can just pull it by the drawstring cord here. And away you go, nice and secure, safe, dry, 
lovely. Okay, and that is my uh, commute bag. So if you have any questions whatsoever, pop them in the comments below and we will uh, try to answer them for you. Um, and yeah, happy commuting.